What's up guys, it is Michael back with another video and if you follow me on Instagram, you know that over the weekend I built a deadlift platform and the one that I built is a little bit different. I'm gonna kinda give you guys a little explanation of how it's different here, but it's relatively cheap and it's easy to move around. That was the key thing. When I decided I wanted to build a deadlift platform, most deadlift platforms are four feet by eight feet. So they're really big and they're hard to move around and they are thicker than the one that we built. Today's deadlift platform that I'm gonna show you guys how to do is only two layers thick, so it's lighter, and the sides are detachable. So it's three separate pieces, it turned out great. So if you guys like the video, you can give it a like. This took a while to make, and let's jump into it. The first thing that we did with this project was run over to the tractor supply store and pick up one four by six stall mat. Now these are the heavy mats that they use in horse stalls as well as on some gym floors, and these ran about 34 99 for one of them after that we went over to the home depot store and we picked out a four by eight piece of plywood and this is going to be the base of the deadlift platform and this one ran around 30 bucks and we took it over to the area where they can cut the wood and we had him cut it into three pieces we had to make a four by two a four by four and a four by two and then we went over and we grabbed another four by four piece of plywood and this is going to be the top layer that you guys can see here that i am sanding down so this is going to be maybe a nicer piece of wood you could get an oak maple or a birch but those will cost a little bit more for 15 dollars. this sheet of four by four pine worked great and to give it a little bit of protection we coated it with some polyurethane while that first coat of polyurethane was drying it was time to work on the side pieces for the deadlift platform so we grabbed the stall mat set it on the ground put a four by two piece of wood on top of it, making sure we lined up the edges. And then we begin tracing the outline of the wood with a box cutter. In hindsight, this process took a while because that stall mat is very thick. If you have an electric saw or a jigsaw, I think that would work better and be a little bit more efficient, but a box cutter got the job done. And once we cut a lot, it was time to start tearing it up around the edges. I sat on top of the board and my friend pulled it up a little bit. We did that for each side and then we repeated the process for the other side of the deadlift platform. Once the stall mats were cut, we put them smooth side up on top of the four by twos and lined up the corners and then started screwing them into the wood. For the screws, we used an inch and a quarter long wood screws and those worked great. So we did it for one side of the platform and then the other side of the platform. And if you wanted to use some type of glue here, you could, but using screws was just quicker because there was no wait time. And that completed the sides. So we loaded those into the car and then we still had to work on that top layer. So we coated it with one more coat of polyurethane and then we had to let that dry. After a little bit of wait time, we put both four by four pieces of plywood on top of each other, making sure the edges line up again, and then we screwed those together. And after it was all screwed and assembled, all that was left to do was to load it into the truck and take it to the gym. So here you can see how the deadlift platform works. If you weren't following along, you got the middle and the sides, and the advantage with this is it's portable. So if you have a garage gym, very easy. If you wanna park your car in it, hey, just pull the three pieces up. It's easy enough for one person to move around. So here you guys can see how the platform looks from the top. I think it looks really clean and professional. I think the screws actually look pretty cool in it. And the only thing that was left to do was to break in the platform with some deadlifts. Now, no complaints on how the platform works. Everyone else that used it that day said they really liked it as well. We will see how time holds it up. But one reason why I wanted to build it with the sides that come out was because I do sumo deadlifts. So you actually have a little platform to do about an inch and a half deficits. And if you want a two inch deficit, you can obviously add something on top or underneath just to get that deficit to how you like it. Here's one last overview of the platform. And of course you can change things up. If you wanted to make this three layers thick and add an extra layer of plywood on the bottom, you could do that. But the two layers worked great for me. I'm excited to keep using this and deadlifting on it. So if you guys liked the video, hit the like button down below, greatly appreciated. And I will talk to you next video.